Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. And iOS 17.4 is out for a couple of days now. And in this video, I'm going to talk about this. So I'm going to talk about the performance and about its battery life. I'm all, I'm going to also share a Geekbench score uh, after using it for almost three days. So let's talk about let's talk about starting with the Geekbench score. So going into the Geekbench score. I just tested this out running iOS 17.4 as you can see over here and I got 2351 on multi core on single core and 5835 on multi core as you can see if I go to the single core over here the average iPhone 14 gives around 2222 which means iOS 17.4 is giving better as you can see it is giving me more than almost 130 extra points on single core comparison while on the multi-core comparison, if I go to the average iPhone 14 gives 5374 while I am getting around 5835. So it means yes, performance is good. I am getting good scores. I also want to compare the iOS 17.4 Geekbench with the iOS 17.4 Geekbench on the very first day. So going back over here, as you can see, these two Geekbench are of the same iOS version. This is iOS 17.4. This is also iOS 17.4. Now this was was on the first day when the iOS 17.4 was released, and this was after almost three days. And as you can see, according to this, their scores are slightly slightly better uh, in the latest results. And if I compare these results with the previous one, then they're uh, they're almost almost same. They're very less difference which means yes performance is getting uh, stable on the iOS 17.4 which is a really really good news and and very very honestly I didn't face any issue with the performance I didn't face anything I did face one bug that was really annoying and that was with the WhatsApp I was trying to text someone and it was not opening opening the uh, oh, it was not opening the conversation for some reason it was giving me a bug in the conversation but that bug may be related to just a whatsapp but overall it is not giving me any issues at all performance is really really good no bugs at all for now after using it for almost three days now I also want to talk about the battery life for sure battery life is one of the main concern of many people it is also one of my concern in my iOS 17.4 videos, I iOS 17.4 RC videos, I talked that I'm not satisfied with the battery as much. But now it's quite decent battery. I cannot say that this is the, the best battery life we are getting. This is a decent battery life on the iOS 17.4. So going into settings and going to the battery life, let the battery stats load over here. Before talking about the battery stats, I want to show you this straight line. Let, let, let me do this again okay you can see there's a straight line which is when I was sleeping at the night time and you can see there is no big drop it might be 1% drop or something like that there is no battery draining so this is a really really good sign uh, for the battery life now going over here and seeing how the battery is performing I will choose this day as you can see I used more than 75% uh, of my battery I used around 80% of my battery and the screen on time was 6 hours and 30 minutes which is really good it is decent it is not the best one but it is decent and the one of the main reason is i was playing pubg mobile i played pubg mobile for 1 hour and 42 minute and obviously this is a really heavy game it consumes a lot of battery life so this is one of the reasons that why i'm getting 6 hours 30 minute if I wasn't playing PUBG Mobile, I'm for sure I will be getting more than uh, or maybe around 8 hours, which is insanely good for the 80% use. So yes, battery life is decent, performance is decent. Now if you ask me that should you update on the iOS 17.4, maybe you are using iOS 17.2 or maybe you are using iOS 17.3, I will say definitely go and update to the iOS 17.4. Obviously, you might see little bit difference in the battery life, but obviously that is against the cost of new features. There are always new features. There are always new bug fixes. So definitely new features are going to take that minor battery life. That new features will bring minor differences in the battery life, but definitely new features are worth. There are over 30 new features in the iOS 17.4 with a transcript feature in the podcast available. This is not podcast, this is podcast. It is available going over here. As you can see, this is a new transcript feature where you can 
uh, read literally read the whole uh, podcast if you want to other than this there are many other features and minor ui changes i talk about those things in my previous videos you can within my channel check out all those videos so yeah that's it from this video i think you should update to the ios 17 but for performance is good battery life is good and everything is working really fine i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out